Godgame.com, all the game you want and then some. Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Naughty Dog, and I'm here to tell you about one of our awesome new features included in The Last of Us Remastered for the PlayStation 4. It's called Photo Mode. This new mode allows you to freeze the action in the game, adjust the camera, and add custom effects and frames before sharing them with the share button on the DualShock 4. Let's take a more detailed look at the new system. First, activate Photo Mode on the pause screen by toggling it on. Resume the game, and then just click the L3 button when you got something you'd like to capture. You can enter photo mode any time other than a cutscene, though sometimes you'll be restricted from moving the camera. Once you're in photo mode, you have access to eight different menus to customize your shot. In the camera menu, you can offset the camera with the left stick, orbit the player with the right stick, dolly the camera in or out with L1 and R1, and roll the axis of the camera with left and right on the D-pad. The Field of View menu allows you to zoom in or out with the left stick. This is great for focusing on the little details on a character or getting a big dynamic wide shot. You can also reset to the default settings on any given menu by pressing R3. In the Depth of Field menu, you can change what the camera has in focus. You can toggle the Depth of Field on and off with left and right on the D-pad. You can also set the position of the focus with the left stick and adjust the width of the area in focus with L1 and R1. In the color filter menu, you can select from a variety of filters to set the mood of your shot. Adjust the intensity of your chosen effect with L1 and R1. The frame menu allows you to select from a series of borders to frame your shot just right. In the Vignette menu, you can darken the corners of the image by toggling the vignette on and off with left and right on the D-pad. You can also set the size of the vignette with the left stick, as well as setting the intensity of the vignette with L1 and R1. You can add some grit to your shot by turning on Film Grain. Just adjust the intensity of the effect in the Film Grain menu with L1 and R1. If a particular area is too under or overexposed, you can lighten or darken it in the Brightness menu with L1 and R1. Now that you got everything set, you can hide the UI with the X button to save that perfect shot. Once you've framed up your shot, just press the Share button to save the image and upload for your friends to check out. You exit Share Mode the same way you got in, by clicking the L3 button. Well, that's about it for the Photo Mode tutorial video. Thanks a lot for checking it out. We're really excited about this new way you can share your experience with The Last of Us Remastered for PlayStation 4. Hope you guys get some killer shots. And who knows, some of those shots might become important for some kind of a photo contest or something. Anyways, stay tuned. PlayStation.